How are y'all doing today? I was gonna uh, I was gonna let y'all know um, today's going good and everything everything's going good. I wanted to do another story with y'all. So this is a book I got for Christmas actually. It is Disney Storybook Collection. It's got many different stories in it. It's got um well, let me bring it up. It's got got Snow White, it's got Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Pinocchio, Bambi, Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, Lady and the Tramp, Sleeping Beauty, 101 Dalmatians, The Jungle Book, The Aristocats, Mickey's Christmas Carol, Oliver and Company, Prince and the Popper, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Lion King, Pocahontas, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Hercules, and Mickey and the Beanstalk, Three Little Pigs. So, let's see, which story am I gonna do first? What are we gonna go with? How about. The story to my my top favorite Disney movie of all time, Lion King. All right, let's get started. It's gonna be on page two forty three. All right, the Disney story, the Lion King. Everything in the animal kingdom had its place in the circle of life. When the Lion King Mufasa and his queen, Sarabi, had a cub named Simba, Mufasa knew that one day Simba would be king. Everyone bowed in respect as Rafiki the baboon introduced the young, the young prince to all the animals. Only one lion, Mufasa's brother Scar, refused to attend the ceremony. He was not happy that Simba would be next in line for Mufasa's throne. But Simba grew into a happy, healthy cub. One day he proudly told his uncle, Someday I'm going to rule the whole kingdom, everything except that shadowy place. I'm not allowed to go there. You're absolutely right, Simba, his uncle agreed slyly. Only the bravest lions can go to the elephant graveyard. Scar deliberately tempted his adventurous nephew. Simba immediately raced home and convinced his friend Nala to explore the elephant graveyard. It was creepier than they ever imagined. Zazu, Mufasa's advisor, caught up with the cubs and warned them it was dangerous too. But Simba only laughed at Zazu. Then he heard someone laughing back. He turned to see three enemy hyenas ready for lunch. He's a king fit for a mill, laughed one. The nasty hyenas chased the cubs right into a trap. Suddenly, there was a tremendous roar. Mufasa arrived and frightened the hyenas away. Simba was very proud of his father. We'll always be together, right? He asked Mufasa later that evening. Look up at the stars, Simba, said Mufasa. 
Those are the great kings of the past looking down on us. Remember those kings will always be there to guide you. So will I. Although Scar was very angry with the hyenas for letting Simba escape, he made a bargain with them. If they helped him become king, they could have their run of the Pride Lands, and Scar had a plan. Later, Scar brought Simba to a gorge and promised him a wonderful surprise. If he would wait on a certain rock, then he signaled the hyenas. Surprise was a, was a stampeding herd of wild wildebeest. The earth trembled as the wildebeest headed right into the gorge and straight towards Simba. Simba held onto a tree branch but was slipping fast. In an instant, Mufasa appeared and grabbed his son. He got Simba to safety, but then he slipped off the ledge and fell into the thundering stampede. When everything was quiet once more, Simba found his father lying lifeless at the foot of a cliff. Simba had not seen Scar push Mufasa to his death. Simba believed it was all his fault. Run away, Simba, Scar advised the young cub. Run away and never return. Scar watched as the young cub ran away, chased by the hyenas, then Scar returned to Pride Rock and announced to the lions that he would be their new king. Simba end ended up in the desert where he collapsed from heat and exhaustion. Luckily, two curious creatures found him, a meerkat named Timon and a warthog named Pumbaa. Simba's new friends took him home to the jungle, where they introduced him to Timon's idea of Hakuna Matata. No worries. Simba tried to put the past behind him, but it was difficult. One day, a young lioness appeared, looking for help. It was Nala. She told Simba the sad story of what had happened since Scar had taken over the Pride Lands. But Simba could not face going back, at least not until Rafiki appeared and led him to a vision of his father. You are my son and the, and the one true king. You must take your place in the circle of life, Mufasa explained. So Simba returned to the Pride Lands, with his friends by his side. There was a great battle. Finally, Scar cornered Simba and confessed what he had done many years ago. You didn't kill your father, Scar said evilly. I did. At last, Simba found the strength to fight back. He flipped the evil lion right over the edge of the rock into the jaws of the waiting hyenas. When the fighting was over, Simba took his rightful place as king and restored the Pride Lands to a place of peace. And when Simba and Nala's little cub was born, a brand new circle of life was begun. All right, I want to thank you everyone and I hope you all enjoyed the story. Um, love you all and have a good night.